Concerns are growing in Israel's high-tech sector after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank in the United States dealt an impact on the sector, a pillar of Israel's economic growth. According to an Israel Innovation Authority report, Israel's high-tech sector accounted for over half of the country's total exports in 2021. As the only country in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in the Middle East, Israel has over 6,000 high-tech companies and startups, with some being deeply interconnected with the United States. You could look at some of the Twitter posts of, of the people involved in those companies, and I, you know, it's horrible. They had absolutely no idea if, their comp if this was the end of the company. You know, one day they think they have tens of millions of dollars in the bank, and uh, the next day they have nothing as far as they know because the bank collapsed. They don't know if they still have a company because if they can't pay the next paycheck. I think that's the sentiment of what we saw when we saw that Silicon Valley Bank was in huge problems and that there was a liquidity run. The fallout of SVB's failure hit the headlines of Israel's news outlets in the past few days. And according to the expert, U.S. bank supervision is the same old question. Uh, it's not the first time, of course. And it's unfortunately also not probably the last time. Um, I think, you know, it's always easy to say, oh, we need more stringent um, supervision on what the companies are doing, especially the private companies, because there's no real um, uh, an external auditor and things like that. And there definitely may be truth to that. In response to the concerns and anxiety caused by SVB in Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said at this week's cabinet meetings that he will consider with the finance and economy ministers and the governor of the Bank of Israel whether or not actions are necessary to assist Israeli companies in distress, mainly with cash flow, due to the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank. Israeli Minister of Finance Bezalel Smotrich has also announced the formation of a team to examine the consequences of the collapse of SBB in the United States for Israel's technology industry and to formulate recommendations for aid. This um, event in the U.S. with SBB Bank um, made, made people think, you know, maybe not everything is rosy abroad. To sum it up, I think that all in all, uh, the Bank of Israel has a long tradition of um, allowing banks to take substantially less risk and being less leveraged than the U.S. banking system. And that also means that in times of crisis like these times, the banking system is more stable.